What's going on guys, T-Mart here. Welcome to week one of the top 10 best paint jobs in Black Ops 3. This is a series I've been planning on doing for a very, very, very long time. I'm very excited about it, and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it as well. So it's gonna be a weekly series going down every single Sunday for the rest of this game. This first one's actually going up on a Monday. It's been crazy with the race live stream and everything. I didn't even know that yesterday was Sunday, and I totally forgot to upload it. But uh, yeah, so every single Sunday from here on out for the rest of Black Ops 3, expect a new top 10 paint jobs video here on the channel. Now, usually it's gonna be paint jobs submitted by you guys. We'll talk about how to do that at the end of the video. This week, since it's week one, we don't have any submissions yet. I took them off of like the, the popular Black Ops 3 paint job like voting feature, but usually it's gonna be stuff by you guys in the future, which is cool because those of you guys that create get to you know kind of get acknowledged for it. We can appreciate your work. And then for the rest of us who aren't quite as artistically inclined, we can get ideas and inspiration as for some of the stuff we can do ourselves. Now, without further ado, Let's hop into the top 10 here. The first one we have is the KN44 Left Shark. This one isn't really all that detailed, but I, I wanted to include it because it made me laugh. Everybody loves the Left Shark. It's a meme that started with Katy Perry's Super Bowl performance last year. And I don't know, I, I thought it was really, really funny. So uh, we've got that one there at number 10. At number nine, we have the M8A7 Aqua. So this is a throwback to Black Ops 2. And I always really liked the Aqua camo back then. I, just, I feel like this one looks super, super clean. Like it's not that detailed. It's not super complex, but it's a very, very clean camo. So I wanted to include that one. Next up at number eight, we have the Cuda Bomb España. So obviously that's in uh, in Spanish there, but this is SpongeBob, dude. SpongeBob on your weapon. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, next up, we have the Argus Pokemon. This one I liked because on the Argus, it's kind of interesting the way you can customize it. There's like the base part of the gun and then the like, the, the action, like kind of like, hinge type thing you can also paint as well so he turned that into a pokeball because it was circular which i thought was super creative and then you've got a little pikachu face down in the bottom left part of the gun next up we have the vault boy dingo this one i really really liked fallout officially releases tomorrow and uh, a lot of people are super hyped about that, including myself. I actually, I got the game a little bit early and I've already started my Let's Play over on my second channel. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link it down in the description. But uh, yeah, everybody loves Fallout, or at least most people do. So I wanted to include that one uh, at number six. Now, moving on to number five, we've got the KN44 Netflix and Chill. This is another one that really wasn't all that, you know, complex, but it made me laugh. So if you're trying to impress your bae when she comes over and watch you play COD, you throw this on there and uh, I'm sure you'll get lucky. Next up at number four, we have the Cuda Juggernaut. I thought this one was really, really cool. Everybody loves Juggernaut. Throwbacks back in the day in Call of Duty. So uh, that one's pretty solid. Next up at number three, we have the Razorback Rainbow Tiger, AKA the Spectrum Camo. So again, another throwback. I like these throwback ones. Like there are a lot of throwback ones if you look uh, on these, you know, kind of like top media type, you know, kind of like lists. So uh, this one I thought looked really, really good, really clean. Again, another one that's not too difficult to do, but uh, it looks very, very solid. Next up at number two, this one absolutely blew me away. This is the M8A7 Space. And you guys can see you have like a giant water body towards the bottom. Then you've got kind of like a mountain range and you've got, you know, purple and, and blue skies with a planet up there. I don't know. This one, I, just, I thought it looked super, super sick. Like it was super unique. Not many people, you know, have been making stuff like this. And I just, I, I don't know. Like, I don't see what it's modeled after. It's not like it's modeled after something that's been done before. It's completely original, which really made me appreciate it. And then finally, last but not least, the final one, the number one spot. What's going to take it? The Locust Hyper Beast, boys. All right, so I'm a huge fan of CSGO. I play it all the time now. It's definitely one of my favorite games. And I love the Hyper Beast in that game. I had the, uh, the M4 as well as the Op. And in this one, somebody recreated the Hyper Beast uh, kind of like theme on the Locust Sniper Rifle. And it looks super, super good. Like this is not an easy one to do. There's a ton of layers included in this one. As you guys can see, like all the teeth and stuff on the monster on the side of it. So uh, this one I was just, I was super, super fond of. And uh, I just knowing how much time it took to put into this, uh, I knew, you know, this one had to be number one. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Those are the top 10 paint jobs in Black Ops 3 for week number one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which paint job out of these 10 was your favorite. Leave a comment down below. If you guys want to know how to submit your own paint job for next week, there's going to be a link down in the description. It's a, a short YouTube video tutorial on how to do it. And uh, good luck, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two videos if you haven't seen yet. Peace out.